now let's talk about arrays. So arrays, arrays are sort of like special lists in the way that they have contain only one, one type. So they are just homogeneous in terms of type. So arrays, arrays are similar to to lists, but they only contain. one type yeah so for example for example just floating point and the um, arrays are generated so the also the so they're similar to to lists and they are they're just a very thin wrapper around c arrays Thin wrapper around around C arrays. So this means arrays are fast. So these and um, and they are for that reason good for for DSP and number crunching. And um, good for number crunching. So how do we how do we create arrays? Let's continue here. So how do we how do we create arrays? Arrays are generally created created via the so-called NumPy module. So create um, arrays are maintained by the NumPy modules. So or provided provided by numpy and so in order to to use to use this library here so we need to import numpy so so we need to issue the command import numpy and then usually you would abbreviate this as NP in Python. So we need to need to issue this command here to use it. And then we can do things like A equals NP numpy dot array and we create this by using lists, for example. So with this command, we are creating creating an array containing the numbers one, two, and five. And so we can also create create two dimensional arrays. So that's a um, one dimensional one. one dimensional array but we can also create two dimensional arrays or higher dimensions i haven't tried out i think but it definitely works for example in image processing and so we can can write something like so we do one square bracket here for the one dimension and then we create another one here, let's say one and five, comma, and then two, comma, 99. So with that, we have created a two-dimensional array. Yeah, so let's have a quick look if this how this works works in Python. So where's our anaconda environment here, or the um, spider 
running running here so so if you want to create an if you want to use use this we, we, we need to do import num numpy numpy as as np so now we have numpy there um, and so if you write now numpy array of one five two and six for example then we see it's, it's generating us a numpy array here um, so we can also save that into this variable a here and then it's it's containing this array here so if you want to do a two-dimensional array let's um, try this so we just put another bracket around here and um, create this here so now we have these nested nested arrays here nested lists which are creating then this two-dimensional matrix and um, and we see and we outputting this here is already nicely formatted as a as a matrix just to debug the the output of that okay so so that's the idea of um, of arrays uh, 